let's get into why they won't leave. Why they just, the Biden, that is, just won't leave. I think it's because they need the money. Lay this out for us. What exactly is Comer alleging was done here and how closely involved is Joe Biden? Well, Kate, Republicans on House Oversight are out with this new memo today. And as you mentioned, Comer just did a press conference essentially saying that there are members of the Biden family who receive payments from entities uh, linked to Romania, linked to China, uh, and that some of these payments took place while Joe Biden was the vice president. And of course, James Comer is using this to try to further his argument that he's trying to make that there are members of the Biden family who enriched themselves on the family name. Uh, and that when you are no longer president of the United United States, and there is no more speculation around you ever holding elected office again, then all of the money that comes your way as a result of influence peddling starts to dry up. And listen, if you want proof of that, Hillary and Bill, they had the Clinton Foundation, and they were out there, you know, basically telling foreign governments, yeah, you kick us some money and you know, we'll go to the Senate, our buddies in the Senate. Next time Mitch McConnell comes over to the House for a cookout, talk to him about, you know, this legislation that's important to you. They were doing that internationally and here domestically. They were running an influence peddling scheme under the guise of a charity that they called the Clinton Global Initiative. Okay. Uh, Clinton Global, they're a shadow of themselves. You know, they got to keep it running because they do still have a modicum of influence. Although, when's the last time anyone's seen Bill Clinton? I haven't seen Bill in quite some time. And the last time I saw him, Bill was gaunt, okay? Uh, I don't know. So, I don't know where he is. But anyway... Jill and Joe and Jill Biden. Come on now, New York Post. Cooperate here. Uh, Joe and Jill Biden have refinanced their Delaware home, their Delaware home, 20 times. Now, they've got other properties that they've also, they've refinanced, I think, a total of 35 times. Okay. All right. So, uh, They've raked in $4.2 million from the $350,000 property. Wow. That's a lot of refinancing. Okay. Hail to the cha-ching. President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill, Bi Jill Biden treated their various Delaware real estate holdings like a personal ATM for years, taking out several mortgages and refinancing a whopping 35 times, according to a report. The couple said to boast a net worth of $10 million, allegedly borrowed $6 million on the properties over the decades. Okay. Now, I personally believe that uh, the Bidens have more money than that. I, I could be totally wrong here. I could be totally wrong. Some people look like they have money, right, but are mortgaged to the hilt like the Bidens are, right? So if they indeed, and, and, and let's talk about net worth. Net worth does not mean you have $10 million in cash, all right? That just means that you have assets worth $10 million, okay? Can you put your hands on $10 million $1 bills at a moment's notice? No, okay? So they got a net worth of $10 million and they got uh, $6 million worth of equity that they've taken out of properties. So since we know that net worth does not mean cash, the Bidens are probably broke. All right. All right. Now, here's the thing. You take, okay, George W. Bush is a bad example because he, he really came from money. Um, so president or not, he, he didn't have to do anything and he basically hasn't done anything um, after being president to continue to be wealthy, right? Um, Reagan was in a kind of a spot like Bi uh, Biden is today because Reagan couldn't hit the lecture circuit, all right? Because he was dealing with the 
onset of Alzheimer's. So that was out for Reagan. But back then, Reagan had such a group. He had a tremendous group of friends. And then one even bought him a property. Um, he couldn't do the influence peddling. Couldn't really write a book, you know, and then go promote it. Right. Um, so after Reagan, we had Bush, the elder, who, again, was already wealthy. Um, he didn't really need to worry about money after the presidency. Clinton, this is kind of where this thing started at. Clinton said, hey, this White House salary is fine, but we need to make some real money. Okay, so Clinton Global Initiative that we just talked about, that came about after he left the White House. He wrote books. He went on the lecture circuit. Uh, people had a uh, bill there and they paid handsomely to have him come to their venue and speak about whatever the hell, you know. International bratwurst conventions, gathering of bratwurst manufacturers, keynote speaker, Bill Clinton. Okay. Uh, National Curtain Foundation. We, the lobby for the curtain manufacturers of America. Keynote speaker, Bill Clinton. Then Hillary got into the game after she, you know, Hillary was there in the White House. Uh, she was actively involved. She was one of the more actively involved first ladies in policy, okay? You know, usually they give the first lady some little pet project Nancy Reagan had just say no to drugs. Uh, Laura Bush, she was a librarian. So, you know, read more kids, uh, but not Hillary. She was actively involved. So between Bill and Hillary, they made a mint off of influence peddling and lecturing. Okay. Then we had uh, Bush, we skip over him, uh, Obama. Obama took it to a new level, okay? Because Obama was kind of a celebrity anyway. So he did the lecture circuit, the books. He's producing Netflix movies, uh, on and on and on and on. And in his spare time, he's serving as the president of the United States. Um, you know, the one that we did not vote for. So Bill, uh, not Bill, uh, Jill and Joe were faced with a unique circumstance, an aging president who is losing it. Uh, they had some things going on with Ukraine. We know that. Joe talked about it. But again, there will be no books written by Biden. There will be books written about him. Uh, there will be no lecture circuit. There will be no more influence peddling. So Hunter, who they say it, now he's even joining meetings at the White House, official policy meetings. You got for, for what? Right? He's not involved. He's not like Bobby Kennedy was to JFK. All right. But I think he wants to stay close to his father now because he doesn't want people to convince him to drop out. But he's dropping out. Trust me. Um, it's happening. So the family all of a sudden is going to go from this decade long grift that they've had to zero. OK, overnight, if he drops out and look, he doesn't have to drop out. Go ahead. We, we, we got four months left, Joe. Stick it out. You're leaving the White House in January. You're leaving. Um, They could set up a mock Oval Office in his basement and he'd never know he was not president. You could get someone to call him. Hi, I am Vladimir Putin, Mr. President. And he would still think he was the president. So they're mortgaged to the absolute hilt. All right. They've got more in terms of debt on properties than they do on hand. OK, more more money and debt on properties than they do cash on hand. OK, 